with Nate to Wait, and thanks for tuning in. So here we are with Steed, or otherwise known as the Abbey Roads Chambers plugin. This plugin is a really nice sounding reverb, and I've only spent a little bit of time with it to kind of get used to what it sounds like, and I've used it in this particular mix as well. So I'm going to show you guys what it sounds like in this mix. Uh, first off, we'll go through some of the features so you guys know what it is. If you have already checked it out, obviously you don't need to watch this part. Just go straight to the audio demo down the description below. Um, so some of these features here, which you can see, are the three different types of reverb that it has. It's got stone, which this is this section here. Um, you can actually adjust the microphone distance as well to be where, you know, positioned to the wall or in the middle of the room. Um, you've got mirror, which kind of is a bit different angles in the room, so it creates a different sound and reflections. And then you've got chambers, which has all these poles kind of different scattered in the room, so that obviously reflections are a bit different. I haven't actually seen this in real life, so I'd actually really like to go to Abbey Road Studios and check it out. But anyway, in the meantime, we'll have a listen to this plugin. So you've got the feedback section here. You've got drive, mod, and obviously sync, which syncs the two delays together. And then you've got bass cut, uh, top cut, which is obviously the, the top, top frequencies there. And you've got flat bass cut as well. Um, you can turn that on and off and you can activate the fil filters here as well. And then you've got a gain section here and the frequency as to where the gain is applied as well. Um, you've got the reverb amount, so you can do wet or dry. And obviously then a mix of parallel wet and dry as well. So I've got this kind of set up so you can change this different positions as well. So this speaker, which basically played the audio in that room, and then they re-record the audio through these microphones, which you see here. So you can position that as well towards whichever direction you want, and um, that'll give you different reflections as well. You can change the speaker types um, and change the microphone types as well. So this is a really good plugin, especially for the fact that it's $29 when it first got released, um, which I believe was a day or two ago, whenever it was. And uh, let's have a listen to what it sounds like. So um, I'll play this track just in context of the reverb being on the track so you can hear it. Then I'll play it with the reverb isolated so you can hear how much of an effect it really does have and how good it sounds. So let's go. Make sure I love my best I'm still learning, and that's all right with me. That's all right with you Cause we're still learning I know You can trust me, you know I won't judge I've been in every situation under the sun So I understand that road and direction I understand you want a solution Thank God right now for your blessings all right, so that's the gist of the song there. Um, you can hear in the quieter sections where the reverb really stands out and it does have a really nice sound to it. Um, let's go to the actual reverb section itself. I actually had a plate reverb on this before I put this Abbey Road plug in here. So let's just put Abbey Road. We'll just put Abbey for now. Um, so you can see how many different sends. Before I go to that, you can see all the sends that I've got to this reverb. There's multiple sends to it. Um, some lesser than others and um, I've got a really nice kind of um, a fullness to the mix when I sent this uh, these sends to this reverb so in the reverb plugin you can see how in this section here it's got different setups with the mics like I said earlier you can have the classic where you can have a room sound I really liked the stone sound it just sounded really warm I don't know what just might be the reflections of the way that the actual so the stone sounded plus the way that these reflectors on the sides uh, kind of reflect the actual sound so have a listen to the reverb just as it is on a solo um, and have a listen to how different reverb uh, sounds in this mix so let's go Just be, you know, I won't judge. I'm in every situation under the sun. So I understand the wrong and direction. I understand you want a solution. 
Um, just another thing I want to note, this reverb plugin is really taxing on the CPU if you have the interface up at the same time. So just be aware of that. If you have other plugins going on in your mix, this does tax your CPU quite a bit. So anyway, have a listen to the way the position of the speaker when I changed it around and the microphones as well. So let's get into that. I'll put it in context of the mix as well. So sorry about the clicks and the pops, just going some crazy CPU happening there. Um, so anyway, let's just take that plug-in off and uh, I'll do it without the plug-in up so it doesn't crazy my CPU or create issues with it. So how crazy does it sound when you have the actual reverb plug-in just on that section there it goes really quiet in the mix and just really reverberates through the room of that chamber. Anyway, so I hope you guys really um, enjoy this review. I hope you uh, go check this plugin out and uh, see what it can do for your mix. It's really worthwhile to see how well it can sound on some of your vocals that you've got or even on drums or whatever you want to throw in there. Just the way that the sparseness and the sound bounces off at it, um, that, that kind of unique sound that you don't get from anywhere else. So anyway, I'll catch you guys on the next one and peace out.